Okay, so I have a slime with suicidal tendency, so... Seriously? What the hell is going on? Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Epoch and today I'm gonna show you how you can ranch these party slimes in your ranch. So how you can get them inside a coral or on some... well... Wherever you want to keep them actually. It's up to you. So let me just show you how you do it. Okay, so what is a party gordo? If you don't know, now a party gordo is a gordo that you will only find during the weekend. Now he pops up somewhere in the world and this could be wherever. Um, it could be in the dry reef, this could be in the ancient ruins, this could be in the glass desert, it could be wherever. And there's only one each weekend. Now I make a weekly videos on this so if you know my channel you probably already know um, how it works. Now when you pop him, so you feed him 10 vegetables, uh, fruit, chickens, whatever. And he will pop and he will explode into these party boxes with the bow ties and also with some party slimes. Now the pink slimes do have accessories and you can only find them when while popping a party gordo. How do you get to your, them to your ranch? Now there are a few well, difficulties you can run into. First problem is the moment they eat the plort, they lose their accessory. Bye bye. And the next problem is if you vacuum them they become a normal pink slime. So how do you move them? Well, the only way you can do that is just by dragging them with you like this. Now there are, there is an important trick that I want to share. Now look at my inventory, it's full. So if I actually just vacuum them up, I can't vacuum them up, so they keep their accessories. So as you're doing this airstream and you accidentally come way too close, then they will just be, you know, a little bit shot off. So that is a big trick to remember. So that's really one something I would advise. Now, the next part that's very important is the location of the party gordo. So right now, this weekend's party gordo is right here, was right here. It depends on when you're watching. And that's a lot of water. Now, if the party, if the party slimes actually drop into the water, they're gone like just like any other slime. So you really want a party gordo that is uh, on dry land and as close to your ranch as possible. Now remember you cannot use this trick to a teleporter. So if you walk through a teleporter while you're dragging slime with you like this, it won't come through. So that doesn't work either. So what do you want? You want a party gordo so clo as close as possible to your ranch. Now there are two locations that can happen. So um, I will show you both uh, places but you may we need to either wait till that weekend arrives or you will need to change the date on your computer, Xbox, PlayStation 4. Now I made a guide for how to do this on, play, on PC and that should pop in the top right corner right about now. And there are plenty of guides to do this on PS4 or Xbox so I'm sure you can do it. Uh, so just check a guide on YouTube. Now, the two locations that you can find them, now I will leave by the way the date stamps on the screen right now and when I do the run. The well, first one is right about here. So as you leave your ranch, so this is your main part of your ranch, so you leave to the area, central area and here you have uh, just a lot of pink slimes. Now you go to the left and you, you have over here the pink gordo on the island and if you go to the right, here you have in this little area you probably will never actually come. Scenario that I personally never come to. So then you can drop down a cave and you will find the party go to right here. So when again, once again, I will show this in a second. The other location is right over here. So if you go to the, the overgrowth, which is the like the foresty part of your ranch, and you go down these stairs along this water, here you have the Tabu Gordo sitting on a teleporter to the ring island, that's to the left. And then if you pass that, you will find it right here next to a ladder of Hobson, I believe. So these are the two best locations. These are the closest. Now you can pretty much get the party slime wherever you want. So this could be in the ancient ruins and you go quarry mash, blanket, but these two locations are the best ones. So just trust me on this part. But you will need to change your date to have the party gordo at that specific place whenever you want. So yeah. Now let me just show you how I do this for each party gordo in, in each location. Okay, so the very first party gordo, now we're just gonna head over this way. So 
Um, this is the main entrance from your ranch. So now I'm just gonna grab some stuff. So I have something in my inventory, as I mentioned before, so we won't accidentally vacuum the pink slime. Items. So, as I said, main entrance, we're gonna go through here. So this is the giant central area, well, one of the central areas. We're gonna go to the right. And over here you have this place that I actually pretty much never come to. So you can go. So this is right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here into this tunnel that has pretty much no use so far. We're gonna go through here and you can maybe already hear him. Party Gordo is over here. So then we just need to feed him his... Oh boy. My aim sucks sometimes. Okay, so there we have. Now, be careful, the party slimes do tend to just sometimes fall into the water. Now, we have a party slime here who is a, a volunteer in my mind. And now what we're gonna do with him is we're gonna drag him all the way over here. Get out, get out. I prefer to have as few um, well, slimes in the area as I'm doing this because, you know, once again, he just needs to eat one plort and his accessory is gone. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag him to the ash stream, this little vacuum stream, all the way over here. Now, be careful that he doesn't drop in the water at this point. So I threw him a little bit away from the water and now, oh, we can start. So now this area is mostly um, pink slime, so the, there is not a real big issue um, for it with him eating a plort that's not pink. So that is good. Um, so this is probably also the safest route. So. As I mentioned, um, you need to avoid water as much as possible. That's mainly the thing that can screw this up the most. So, and this branch, pretty much the safest one. Now, you can drag him, but you can also always do this. Just throw him a little bit around the room. Or well, the area. Just, you know, be careful that he doesn't end up somewhere he shouldn't. But here we do, here we have him. So then you can place him, for example, in a coral, or you can do something weird, like place him on the slime stage. And there we go, we have him in our edge. Okay, so now let's do the second one. Now, once again, the date timestamps will, will probably be on the screen right now. So just change the time on your PC, PS4, Xbox, whatever, to these dates. And then normally you should see the party guard right over here. Bam. So as you're moving, you can already remove some um, slimes, especially plores if you see any. This is way too easy. Uh, because once again, we do not want the party slime to eat any plorts. So let's just pump this party gordo. Be sure the party slimes do not fall over the water or jump into the water. They do tend to do that. So once again, the party gordo is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to return in our steps to, towards the overgrowth. So let's get started. Now my inventory is full, no pink slimes, so then we can start dragging. Now, you can try to do multiples at the same time, but you know, it's... I, I personally find this already difficult enough, so I would just do them one by one. But there is the chance that the party slimes will be gone by the time you show up again, so... And sometimes stopping to look around, like I just did, to know where you're going and to see if there's a plort in the area is a pretty good idea, in my opinion. So...
Oh, oh. This staircase is the most difficult part for me, so I am really concentrating a lot. Come on. Once you have him around this threshold, then you're safe. So I know this because I've already done it like five times before this one. So this will be my sixth, I believe. Because here you can see the other five. Now there is an additional problem right now. So um, you need to get into this coral and just to showcase it. Oh, you cannot throw him inside this coral. You, you can shoot a slime into a coral, but you cannot throw it. That doesn't work. So what we need to do is we need to, if you haven't done this yet, so you just need to place a new coral with no top roof. Or in my case, I'm going to demolish this one and create it really quickly once again. So I'm going to demolish the plot and immediately I go make another coral. Now this is the basic coral so there's no roof on top so that's good and now we need to do something that I'm really bad at normally so that is just throw him inside the coral and try not to throw the other party slimes out of it as you're doing this as I just did. So I am really bad at this part. And I think we have got all of them. Perfect. I'm kind of astounded by myself, to be honest, at this point. So now we can just upgrade the coral. And we're good. So now you just need to make sure that they are constantly being fed. So just drop some of the food inside this thing. Have some drones work it out and stuff like that. So that is how you can actually get all your... Well, how you can get some party slimes into a coral or on a slime stage. So guys, that's it my full guide. Um, I just wish you guys a lot of luck. You know, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this one, be sure to subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. See ya.